Hey everyone, Case here. Welcome back to the Van Houten's update. That's right, we're in Canada. It's not much of Canada, but it's Canada. And this is a very, very strong hint as to the premium character that I'm about to get. That's the episode with a lot of the Simpsons ancestors. And then of course Mabel and uh, the other guy, they go to Canada. But this is Milford Van Houten that comes with the Sarsaparilla tree. 3.75 bonus money XP to all jobs and improves your tree hugging rating. We'll put you in Canada for now, but that's probably going to change. Really, that guy? We must be running out of characters. This is the most screen time I've gotten anywhere ever. Milford Van Houten. Not a lot left. I see you, Milford. But that is the Sasparilla tree. I think sound wise it's gonna sound like the wind. Blowing through the leaves. Maybe it'll sway back and forth a little bit. I'm going with the sound of the wind through the leaves. That makes sense. It's an old tree, it's creaking. What in tarnation? Where am I? Oh great, another one-off character digitally immortalized. What's worse than tertiary? Quaternary? What sort of baffled gab are you muttering, mountain boy? You are in Springfield. You've been summoned here by the Skyfinger. Skyfinger? Bah! More humbuggery. Worst? catchphrase ever and you are the proprietor of this here establishment which sells sheets of confusing the Gurio types they're comic books I've seen enough before I go comic book man guy would you be so kind as to pull me towards the nearest railroad oh the monorail that's uh looking around I swear I've seen it before Look for the nearest railroad. Oh, he's in for a huge, huge shock. He's expecting a choo-choo train. Get ready for a zippy train. Excuse me, miss. Might I trouble you for some assistance? Millhouse? What was the old time you get up? Gasp. Oh, my stars and stripes. It's an angel. This must be heaven. You need to work on your material, Millhouse. You've used this angel line before. And just what is a Millhouse? Wait, so you're not Millhouse? If you're going for the Millhouse look, you really should go to something else. By the way, I'm Lisa Simpson. Be both shocked and disgusted? Don't worry, Milford. You'll get her in the end. Or maybe we'll see a massive fight between Milford and Millhouse. Simpson? Are the Melbourne Simpsons? Well, I did have some ancestors from Australia, like Eliza Simpson, but they were kicked out of Australia, the country founded by the kicked out people. Well, I'll be. You related to Eliza Simpson? She was my great 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 grand aunt. Did you know her? She was the most terrible person I ever knew. Also, she was my wife. Wife? Wait, are you Milford? Milford Van Houten? Indeed I am, but I shan't be seen in this incarnation with the likes of another Simpson. I know how you must feel about Eliza, but please let me show you that not all Simpsons are like that. Well, considering the only two people I know here are you and the comic book man, you may proceed. This is the Springfield Soup Kitchen, where I volunteer to feed the homeless every week. You take time out of your day to prepare a home-cooked meal for them? Well, someone else cooks it. I put it on the plate for them. So basically, you're just a glorified handler. Noble. Yes, very noble indeed. No, you don't understand. I do a lot more than that. I believe I've seen all I need to see. It is clear to me now that all Simpsons are just full of horse feathers. 
Now if you'll excuse me, I'd like to spend an eternity reading under that sarsaparilla tree. That's what I came here for. If anything, the only thing that matters is that sweet, sweet sarsaparilla tree. Here it comes. He's daydreaming. For some reason, I thought something was going to fall on his head. Isn't that the cliche thing that happens when people sit under the trees? Milford is out there thinking that I'm just as bad as Eliza. How can I convince him I'm a good person? Think, Lisa, think. Oh, I've got it. Hi, Milford. What are you reading? If you must know, it is a sheet of confusing Daguerreo types called How to Stay Married to a Devil Crossing Wench. Well, seeing as you enjoy books so much, I thought I might take you to the Springfield Library. I suppose I could get my affairs in order to secure a borrowing rights card. Do they take three cent nickels? They probably do, actually, because the library needs all the help they can get. Here we are, the Springfield Library. Why is your face all over this establishment? Oh, those? That's just because I've donated so many books. You donated books to the library? Well, I do declare this is indeed a most honorable act of generosity. Lisa, are you donating again? You've already maxed out your extra credit for this month. Extra credit? Yes, every time Lisa donates a book to the library, she earns extra credit in school. I see. So, Lisa, donating these books wasn't even about improving the library. It was only about improving your school evaluation. Every word out of your mouth is just plain applesauce. No, it was about both. It's a win-win, don't you see? I do believe we're done here. Now, if you excuse me, I'm off to play Tiddlywinks. Is that animated? No, I wanted to see him play Tiddlywinks. Did you say Tiddlywinks? I love that game. We played at home. Although, ours is called Tiddly Wonks. My dad bought a discount knockoff brand. You play Tiddly Winks? Well, Tiddly Wonks. I'm not very good at it, but I still enjoy it nonetheless. Well, mayhap, we could play a round or two. Alright, it's time to play Tiddly Wonks. It is animated. And I really like saying Tiddly Wonks now. So that's what Tiddlywinks is. I mean, I've done that before in the past. I just didn't know that was actually the name of it. I wonder how they came up with that name, Tiddlywinks. Did like a Mr. Tiddlywinks create the game? If so, what a great last name. All right. I must admit, you are quite talented at scoping. Giggles. Yes, I'm not very good at potting, so I have to play defensively. You know, I may have judged you a bit prematurely, Lisa. It appears you're not just full of fiddle-faddle. Now, if you excuse me, I'd like you to stay for a spell. A spell? Anyway, that is the full walkthrough from Milford Van Houten with the Sarsaparilla Tree. If there are two things I've learned in this particular video, is that I love saying the words Sarsaparilla and Tiddlywinks, or in this case, Tiddlywonks. Let me know down below what you think and I'll see you with more premium characters and more in the Simpsons tapped out in the near future. So thank you very so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye everybody.